16 minutes after 9, let's check your weather with First Alert meteorologist Rodney Harris. It's another First Alert weather day because of the heat. Gavir and Brooks, the hottest time of the day will be around 3 o'clock in Atlanta where the heat index, what it feels like on your skin, about 103 degrees. So make sure and protect the kiddos. If you're going to be outdoors for a long period of time, try to drink plenty of water, stay in the shade. If you're driving home from work, it still feels like 98 degrees in Atlanta at 6 o'clock. 9 o'clock if you're headed out, it still feels like 88 degrees on your skin. Story number two will be the potential of some isolated storms this evening and tonight because of a cool front that will slide into North Georgia tonight. Most of the day will be completely dry. You'll see plenty of sunshine, but around five o'clock we will start to see some showers and storms coming in out of Alabama. Most of this stuff at five will be in northwest Georgia from Carrollton to Canton northwestward, but by seven, eight o'clock some of these storms may make it into Metro Atlanta. It's not much. The coverage is 30% at best, but don't be surprised if you're out tonight and you see a storm or two. That better coverage will be up in the mountains closer to the actual cold front. We'll do this all over again on Saturday another 30% chance some pop up storms in the afternoon and evening because of that same front. And then on Sunday, there's a 30% chance of rain, but it's not because of the front. It's because of the tropics. So we're still watching a tropical wave that is now over eastern Cuba. This is not a tropical cyclone yet. In fact, it's going to have to track through Cuba today, so it won't become a tropical cyclone today because it's moving over land. But by the time it reemerges, and the southern Gulf of Mexico by the end of the weekend. Near Florida, we are forecasting a tropical depression or storm to develop again by the end of the weekend. And the reason why this cone here, this area of red is west of Florida, is because most of our forecast models are showing whatever this becomes tracking just west of Florida, very tight with those lines, which means our confidence is high in this, and then it'll eventually curve around and move up the southeast U.S. coast. So what does that mean for you? If you have any travel plans to Florida over the weekend, they're definitely going to see more rain, especially tomorrow going into Sunday. For us in North Georgia, as whatever this is passes us by, as of today's data run, we are seeing at least the potential of some showers in East Georgia, not necessarily for Metro Atlanta, but on Sunday, the outer bands of this may impact us in the form of a few showers. And then as we get into the beginning of next week, this will move up the coast and start impacting the Carolinas. So that's why we have a 30% chance of rain on Sunday. That's mainly for East Georgia. And then Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, it'll be completely dry with highs staying in the low 90s. Here is First Alert Meteorologist Cutter Martin with a check of your roads. And Cutter, you were up in Cobb County with some issues. Yeah, you know, and it's quick improvement. Occasionally, we've